Welcome to this tutorial on how to use Twixter to make super slow motion videos like you can see here or slow motion in general but we will not use start with this scene we will actually start with another scene which is this one um, this is a random scene from the city just people walking by and we will use this part this part I want to have in slow motion. So what we would do is that we go on effects. Here yeah, I already put into my search tree and then I find Twixter, put it onto my video and then I set the speed to 50% so it is slowed down. But what happens is that we now lose the part of the video which we originally wanted to use. This is because even though I made it half of the speed means the video should be double of the length the video still only has the original length and the second part of the video is, is now missing. But there's a workaround which is you go on File, New Sequence, call it Sequence, uh, Sequence 7, whatever, and in our project, well project is like window project in case you don't have it, <clears throat> we now take the scene and put it in and now we press alt and then track it there again so it's twice there if i if i would want to slow down the video three times <coughs> then i would have to put it in three times but we're only going 50 percent not on 33 percent so having it twice here is fine and now we don't need that one anymore we take our sequence seven this is called sequence seven so we take our sequence seven drag it into our timeline and now we can see that the video is here actually twice twice the whole video and this means that we, when we put in Trickster now and put it on 50% the whole video will now be there once and this is the part of the video which you wanted to use and it is now slowed down by 50% most of the time when you use Twixter, you don't only want to use it on one scene, but on several scenes. But you have to be careful with that, because you can't just take our sequence 07 and put in a new video file. Because this would mean that our original video would be gone now. So let's reverse that again. Now it's back. So one option would be to just create a new sequence, sequence 8 and bring in this video or the other option is especially when you want to use tricks many times you would have like 20 sequences and that wouldn't be so good that you export a scene and then bring in the exported version as a new video file okay so now i would have it on 08 twice and then we bring in 08 we put on Twixter, go on 50% and there we have our guy walking in a little bit slow motion. Let's now talk about a different case. Let's use this video, Oops. which is, uh, it's actually not 4K, so let's put it on scale 200 um, which is those crazy motorbikers this scene was recorded with 100 frames per second my timeline has 25 frames per second uh, you can check this under sequence sequence settings 25 frames per second so we can slow it down four times come on speed duration 25 percent and it's already slowed down without using trickster four times but by using Trickster, I can change it to eight times slow motion. So I add Trickster and what happens is that my video gets orange. Why does it get orange? This is because Trickster doesn't like it when you use a video with a different frame rate than your timeline has. So this video has a frame rate of 100 frames per second and the timeline has 25 frames per second. So this doesn't work. And what I need to do is, 
that I export this scene in a 25 frames per second timeline. Go on export and then we import it again, which is this one here, I already did it before. So we bring in our scene, which is slowed down four times, but it is now a 25 frames per second video. We can see that on the properties and it has a frame rate of 25. And now we can add Trickster. And now we can put it on 50%. And it will not run smoothly because my laptop is not able to um, render that in real time. But it's the same scene like you see in the beginning here with the eight times slow motion. So here are all the scenes on full screen. And as you can see, there are no artifacts or barely any artifacts when you only slow down to 50%. But here you can see now the same scenes slowed down to 25%, which is a four times slow version or a quarter of the speed. This also works out as long as there are no sudden and unpredicted things happening, but I wouldn't count on it.